Hey guys, Augie Sanjak, and with some more Lost Ark. And today, just a quick little video how to get your first little pet, actually. And pets are very useful in Lost Ark because they do pick up everything for you gold, items, everything. Like, you just need to be within range of it from, say, me to about over there on the screen. You just need to see a drop on the screen pretty much, and your pet will pick it up without you having to run over and actually flick it yourself all the time. Now, the pet you do unlock very early in the game, but it is a guide quest, so you could actually miss it. As soon as you get to Pride Home, You'll do a couple of quests yeah this is the first little thing for them and then you actually go out into log hill you do a couple of quests there and you'll finish that and you'll do your first like low level dungeon so to say and then right after that you'll come back to pride home you'll see there's a whole scenario and everything you have to finish and then once you finish that you've got to save the city because it'll be burning and something like it's all just you realize you've done it as soon as you come out of the little instance and then you actually wake up in the inn actually wake up a via on the top store on the floor over there you'll be sleeping in the inn at the top here and then you come on down and in the middle of your screen there'll be like a little plus icon and that means an actual guide quest now if you missed it and if it just didn't pop up whatever just press j and you come on over here to guide in your quest journal so you'll open up down in progress completed and then guide and then guide quest via you accept it this is how to get your little rabbit now we got to head outside and go speak to blueberry He's going to make us go up and down quite a few times. You can actually mount up while you're in Pride Home. So hop on your horse and then head on down over. And we just got to complete the quest for him for the pet. You can skip it or you can go through it as you wish. I'm just going to skip it for now. Keep it short and sweet. So you do that. You got to pick up the jar for this guy. The jar is filled with something. I wonder with what. Oh, pet thing. Just, it's just to show you how annoying it is to pick it all up, I guess, without having a pet. I'm just gonna leave it there. This piece of cake, he asked how easy it was. It was super easy. What are you even trying to do? We'll leave those things over there for now. You can't really do much with them anyway. Once we get our pet, I'll show you guys how much of a difference the pet makes. So you speak to this one about the pets, and you can actually change what your pet does. So you can change it to give it different skills, and I'll show you that once we acquire our pet as well. I'm gonna go up here, up on our mount come on over and you can change because each pet gives you two different things that it does see over there i'll show you with a retrain so we get our pet and you can actually follow them and they'll actually tell you how to do it so there we go we completed the actual pet quest so now we can right click on that and we have our first pet if you press alt e this will bring you to your pet window now you want to summon it by default it'll be summoned already but later on you get lots of different pets and this is how you access them and this is actually the pet effects so they will have the max hp and the crit rate on this pet so you see our little bunny there and when you run over to these items you'll see how close you can be to picking them up unless they disappeared oh no you see look at that so, so that far away you can actually pick it up these items can actually just be vended so let's go on over to this guy still has the pet for you it's like trying to show you how to do everything so there we go pet quest talk to work yeah speak to him let me just finish it up like that and he's making us i think he makes you collect more right so let's just carry on with it anyway blueberry again what do you want blueberry you giving us something good no oh he's gonna make us open it again i guess this time is to show you how to like actually see the difference between how busy, easy it is with a pet and without a pet. So we speak to him, blah blah blah, pet's picking up everything and now we'll actually complete the quest. Get on back to the little lion and I'll show you how to change your pet abilities. So you speak to the lion, you can actually click or you can just spam G as well. Makes it go by faster the, the chat to complete. You didn't get 50 gold really early on, that's quite nice for you if you're just starting out. So now let's speak to this guy. You click your pet, and then these are the things that you can re-roll on. And that's what you could get by changing these. Honestly, these are not bad. I would get the swiftness just to move a little bit faster. Max HP, I don't know. Oh, was it? We can just leave that on max HP because that's about the best thing there. But the crit. If you, if you believe you can crit, then go for it. But I always change the swiftness because I never crit anyway. But just once you do get later on into the end game, remember to use a pet with crit and then use a pet with physical or magical reductions, just depending on what you're gonna do. But yeah, I think crit is actually overall better for, for you in the end game once you start doing that stuff. 
but early on swiftness will just make you a little bit faster for the leveling process anyway hope that guys helped you guys get in your first white bunny and i'll catch you guys in the next one Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying